Hey everybody, Scott here from Camco. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the Blackboard ATV Lounger. It comes with all the hardware you need, but you're going to need a few tools to make this thing happen. A drill with a 5 16 inch drill bit, a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver, a ratchet with a 7 16 inch socket, and you're going to need some sort of marking utensil. So let's get started. Alright, so when you first get your Blackboard ATV Lounger, the lid will not be installed. So for now, we're going to remove the lid so that we can show you the installation process. It also comes with a tray on the inside, which you're going to have to remove in order to complete the installation. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to position the ATV lounger on the rear rack of the ATV so that we can mark the holes for the U-bolts. Before we mark the holes, we've got to keep a couple things in mind. So the first thing, we've got four U-bolts. We're going to want to position two in the front to back position and two in the side to side position. So we're going to be marking holes uh, for the U-bolts to go around this bar here, and then we're going to mark holes for the U-bolts to go around this bar and this bar. So the next thing to keep in mind is before you mark the holes, you're going to want to try to avoid drilling on these ribs. All right, so now that we've got the lounger in the approximate position where we want it, we're going to mark the holes. You can use either a grease pencil or a marker that will show up on the black polymer, um, or you can use some sort of device to scratch it. So here's our scratches. And remember, we're going to want to we're going to want to avoid drilling through these ribs, which just so happens to be right where we marked. Alright, so now that we've got the holes drilled, we're going to flip the lounger back uh, right side up and we're going to install each of the U-bolts, backing plates, and lock nuts. Alright, so we've got the U-bolts installed, now it's time to put it together. We're going to start by inserting the basket. When you insert the basket, you want to make sure that it is fully and properly seated over the screw holes so that they fasten down properly. Alright, so it's time to install the screws in the basket. That's where your number two Phillips head screwdriver is going to come in handy. However, we've got 18 screws, so I'm going to make life a little bit easier for myself and I'm going to use a screw gun. When you're putting these screws in, make sure to not over tighten them. Alright, so we've got the basket installed. Now it's time to install the lid using these two hinge caps. So you can see that this side is lower than this side so that you install it correctly. So that's how you install the Blackboard ATV Rear Lounger from Camco. Hope this 
video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Camco.